Weaving cultures is an exploration in the field of biodesign. It started from an investigation in composting and fungal life and evolved to housing a human community near the Marais, with respect and guardianship towards the present ecosystem. The willow is a fast-growing, water-loving tree species. It used to be part of the cultured landscape and is brought back around the Marais. It is best known for its use in basketry weaving. However, different scales of material can be obtained depending on the collection frequency. We tap into these existing biocycles to harvest surplus matter and energy and apply them in construction, craft, gardening and food preparation. Amenities are provided so further development of the site can evolve from within. Shelter, sanitation, place for cooking, eating and a workshop. The goal is to expand and share this knowledge through practice, gathering and creativity. Exploring the potential of willow in both its life and dead condition. Its potential as an energy source during the composting process. The entanglement of little elements forms a bigger whole. Nowadays, there are a lot of global problems. The climate is changing, the population keeps growing, and there is a lot of overconsumption, which leads to waste. Now, how can we, as architects of the future, make sure our world does not collapse? Waste is a word we use for things that we don't want anymore. But what if food waste becomes a host for new life? Introducing from food waste to the dining experience. The production is self-contained, as it moves from the farm, to the household, to the factory, where it becomes durable tableware, creative, functional and practical furniture, and environmental building materials, to provide an architectural space for the dining experience in the project. Once the products reach the end of their lives, they are sent into industrial compost, where it becomes fertilization in the farm again. This ability to biodegrade products will help revolutionize the sustainability of an architectural experience.
How will we live together and who is we? Two crucial questions in designing for the future. With that in mind, I create a new pact between nature and architect by making a guideline for nature-inclusive design where the metropole functions as a prototype. By analyzing the bigger environment through the eyes of the modern human, it comes clear that Wiels Marais is an important stepstone and close to some bio-corridors. The site has already a rich variety of modern human inhabitants. The metropole is a built translation of the pact. Ground floor is treated like a public plinth where human and non-human could meet, while the first floor is a meeting hub where architects and ecologists could pull forces. Next, we have to rethink our details. By redesigning a rain pipe and gutter, you create new opportunities where also the life beyond the humane could benefit from. Even our chimney, which is nowadays mostly an unused feature in our urban landscape, could welcome the modern humans instead of blocking them. These are just two simple examples of how we could change our design methodology. A park to reconnect, designing a space for fauna, climate, bacteria, flora, humans, fungi and other species where everything is interconnected together. Instead of building next to nature, where humans are observers, building together with nature. That was the core idea of the project. The proposed park structure has three zones for learning observation and relaxation. The varying structure allows to host different species on the site. Some spaces are more open, bright and warm, while others are more closed up, creating shadows and higher humidity. All this in order to increase the diversity and inclusiveness of the habitats created. More than ever, it is important to protect and nourish nature at all costs.